A life cut short, doing what he loved. Nigel Harris was killed when a trophy truck veered off the dusty Fink track at high speed, killing the 60-year-old instantly. An inquest into the cameraman's death heard the amateur photographer was standing within metres of the track when he was hit. Counsel assisting the coroner, Jody Truman, told the court an independent assessment done before the race flagged major safety risks. Late today, the court heard the clerk of course who was responsible for safety didn't have access to radio control and was told to sit down and stop asking questions about the critical incident. The inquest didn't hear from race organisers who refused to give evidence as a separate WorkSafe investigation is carried out. I'm concerned and I'm sure the family is concerned that people directly involved in organising the event appear to be more interested in protecting themselves than protecting others, Coroner Elizabeth Armitage told the court. Council representing Motorsports Australia, Bruce Hodgkinson SC, told the inquest it was difficult to eliminate all risks along the 226 kilometre track, saying it was publicly and easily accessible at many, many locations, and that it's not always possible to ensure that every spectator doesn't at some point decide to take that risk. Nigel Harris's family made the two and a half thousand kilometre drive from Canberra to be in Alice Springs for the inquest into his death. In a statement given to the ABC, they thanked the witnesses who were willing to take the stand and provide evidence over the three days of hearings. The inquest will now hear more from witnesses before wrapping up. Lee Robinson, ABC News, Alice Springs.